Okay, it's good morning. Um, when you get to the hall, and then this is what you will see the Windows system. Alright, uh, this is Windows 7. All you need to do is come here and click this Windows button here. Alright, when you click this Windows button here, just click it once. You see calculator. Then you open the calculator. Okay, you come to Windows button, you see calculator. Then you open calculator. Or you can come here and search for it. This empty space, but if it's not here, if it's not in the list of programs that are here, you can come under here. This search programs and files, this column here, and then type calculator. Then you see it, and then you open it by double clicking on it. Okay, so let me open my own now. Let me open my own now. All right, so this is the calculator. All right, this is the calculator. Now, when you open it, you won't see this. What you see is the standard. This is the calculator you see when you open it. All you need to do is to come to view. Are you seeing it? You click view, then you click programmer. All right, click view, click programmer. All right, so now you can answer all your questions. Okay, you can answer all your questions. So, for instance, we have a question number one convert 1101 base 2 into a decimal number. So what you do is it's already in binary so base 2 is binary so you come here and click on binary b i n then you type 11011 and okay? when you are done typing you come and click on decimal you already have your answer as 27 very simple all right if you click on binary again you see the number you've typed if you want you to convert it to hexadecimal click on hexadecimal you see the answer 1b if it's octa you see the answer 33 all right so that's how you do conversion then when you are done you can you see to clear that question that particular question then so that you can input another question so we have three four seven base ten into hexadecimal so base ten is decimal click on decimal type three forty seven all right then now when you are done typing just click on hexadecimal you see the answer is 15 b very easy this will take you less than two seconds to do all right so you don't kill yourself trying to calculate and waste your time because you may not have enough time in the exam hall then you clear it all right you come this is um the third question number three convert 67 base 8 that's octa now so we have octa 67 all right to so base 10 you type 67 in octa you click um decimal which is base 10 you get your answer as 55 all right you clear again number four question say add 36 in base 8 to 74 36 in base 8 base 8 is octa so we click on octa type 36 plus 74 then click equal to you see your answer 132 then they say subtract 45 in base 8 as well from 623 so we have 623 minus 45 sorry i didn't type it correctly 623 minus 45 then you press equal to you see your answer 556 all right 556 you clear again so we have add baba in hexadecimal b a b a so we click on hexadecimal which is here then you type look at b a b a b a b a all right plus c a d e you press equal to you get your answer one eight five nine eight very easy then the cell should add b e e so we have b e e e plus c in hexadecimal plus e b a e b a click on equal to you see answer c d a eight all right then we have the last question here convert there is binary so you come here and click on binary then you write one 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 zero one one zero in binary now to octa so you just type and then you click octa it says 366 all right so that's how you do it so for instance they tell you for instance they tell you to add um b e a b in base 16 in base 16 to um three five six four five six sorry 
in base 8 in base 8 if you notice there are two different bases one is in base 16 and one is in base 8 so what you just need to do is to come here and click on octa convert your 456 then eh, to hexadecimal first which is 12e all right so you note it you write it down or you note it in your brain then you add it to this one here so 12e now after converting so that you can because you can add numbers of different bases together so you have to convert this 456 this 456 to be 16 then add it so after converting 456 we had 12e so we have 12e plus b e a b you press equal to and then you get your answer so that's just it all right that's it